My blood oxygen level has been down and stuff lately, so I have to be on oxygen. I'll tell you the story in a minute, but pretty much I'm going to vlog what's happening to find out why. Just because this is something that I don't think many people would vlog, and it's not something that many kids with cancer would talk about, like finding out if they have an infection or not. Um, well, not as in detail as a vlog. So, yeah, let's get started. So pretty much last night, my nurse came in to do my obs. I think it was around 2 a.m. And oh, I'm gonna put my phone down. My arm's getting tired. Ooh. Okay, so my nurse came in to do my obs around 2 a.m. And my blood oxygen level was really low. So she, like the machine was beeping and stuff, as it does when your blood oxygen level is low. So she put me on oxygen immediately, like the other mask. I can insert a picture. Um, and then she called the doctor and the doctor came up. And I got moved to this oxygen thing. And my blood oxygen level has gone back up. Now that I'm on the oxygen, they've tried like taking it down a little bit to see if I can like be okay on a lower level. But I can't. We tried that again this morning as well. And I have to be on the same setting. Um, and last night, the doctor decided to order an x-ray to see if it looked any different to the one they had a couple weeks ago. She was asking us all these questions, like if I've had like cock and things. And I actually have a tickly throat right now, and I did yesterday a little bit. But it was like, I had platelets yesterday. And platelets, sometimes I get cough with because I'm allergic to them. So that's all I thought that was. And I only coughed like once and I only had the tickly throat for like maybe an hour at most. Pro probably a lot less than an hour. Um, and then also my weight was really weird yesterday. Um, it was up quite a bit and we don't know why. But the x-ray showed that there's some, that my lungs look different to what they did before. So today I'm having some more tests run and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So right now I'm here with my little thumb thing and up there is the machine that shows my levels and I got my oxygen. It's a bit hard to fit the little thing in when my NG tube's already there, but it's fine. But I think I'm, the, the doctor last night said something about CT, but I don't know, it depends what my medical team decides. But I've got Hope here with me, and yeah, we're ready to find out what's wrong. And hopefully it doesn't delay me leaving, because I'm meant to be leaving, like, tomorrow. Okay, Mum's just going to explain what the doctors just said. Okay, so because of Megan's x-ray, they want to do a CT scan to get a better picture of what's happening in her lungs, because in the x-ray it just looks like there could be fluid, or he said it looked fluffy. So they want to do a CT scan. He also wants to do a PET scan, just to see what's happening with Megan's lymphoma because we don't know what's happening with her lymphoma. Um, though he did indicate that what could happen is you could end up with, um, if there's an infection, she's gonna, her lungs are gonna light up anyway. 
um also gonna give her latex because if it's fluid or pum, the, what did you say pull pull them the mary um. to do with her heart that the extra fluid from that onto her lungs so we're gonna try giving her some latex which is a diuretic to see if that just gets rid of some of the fluid um this is stuff that makes me pee a lot yes um what am i missing bma oh yes and he wants to do the doctor wants to do a bone marrow aspirate um which he was trying to like before everything had happened last night like he was going to pull some strings to get that done today but don't know exactly if that will happen today um but he wants to see what's happening with the bone marrow and see if there's bone marrow there if there's could be lymphoma in it he's just looking at all the options is that um, the, the tumor is something and yeah so they did a blood like, test Friday week ago, which is the chimerism, 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 which yeah. tells them how much of Aaron's bone marrow, as opposed to Megan's bone marrow, is left, and we haven't had the results from that yet. And they're going to do well. They're going to chase those results, but they're also going to do another one just to see what's happening. Those results take one to two. Yeah, weeks. those results take a week or two. So yeah. So that's basically it. So some of that stuff is happening today. Some of it will be tomorrow. But yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to be fasting all day. So my PET scan is booked in for today. So I'm going in an ambulance over to the Royal to have a PET scan. My nurse is coming with us. And yeah, I just got given some Lasix, so it's going to be an interesting ride because we're about to leave. Um, and I'm going to bring Hope with me, but yeah. So we got the portable oxygen set up and a portable OBS machine thing. Then we got our ropes here. So we're all ready to go pretty much. We're just waiting for the ambulance. So my scan was meant to be at 11 and it's 11 past 11. And we're still waiting for the ambulance. They are taking their time. What's <laughs> going up, maybe? Okay. That's a good Yeah, we're okay. happy? Yep. Paperwork, paperwork, cut it off. You're right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep your arms in and then uh, work your Oh, you just have to close these doors, sorry, just because the airlock oh, system. Yeah, up. and you've got to go. Go all the way in, there's no room. Yeah. Come on in. Because yeah. I have to close it. It's all fun. Just move to the end, so I'll so hide in the
that big long extension too. Just tucking that one round a finger, just so it's not going to pull on anything. I'm going to start off just with a test injection of some saline. If it hurts or stings at all, just let me know. Feels okay? Cold. A little bit cold up your arm. Yeah. Yep, I'm just going to put my fingers there and working but didn't hurt or sting or anything awesome. blood sugar is fine wonderful and you last did something to eat last night which is water sinks mm -hmm. yeah. perfect all right so just preparing that dose now are you right with your shoes on or do you want me to take them Yeah, okay. Alrighty, I'm just hitting start on that one. Let me know if we've got any issues. Um, so I left Megan um, in the room after she'd had the radioactive isotope injected. She has to stay quiet with like no phone, no stimulus for a whole hour. And then after that, they take her to the toilet and then they um, take her to the PET scan machine where she or goes in the machine, which I've never seen. Um, but that normally takes about 20 minutes. I normally, um, I've gone and got myself something to eat because I'm starving and I can't imagine how hungry Megan is um, after not eating at all. And um, so I normally am back in the waiting room by the time she's done. 